Cryptocurrency exchange Kraken has made a decisive move by filing a motion to intervene in the ongoing legal battle between Ripple and its plaintiffs. According to recent court documents, Kraken's action comes in response to a court order that has compelled all U.S. exchanges to submit private trading data and the identities of customers who traded in Ripple's XRP with the plaintiff's legal team. In the document, the exchange stated that while it does not oppose the long-form notice proposed by the lead plaintiffs, Kraken fears its clients might misconstrue the company's compliance as support for the lawsuit against Ripple. The firm asserts its right to clear its stance with its clients, underscoring the need to maintain its reputation and the trust of its users. By intervening, Kraken aims to ensure that its communications with clients remain unfiltered and transparent amid the ongoing lawsuit. In the legal confrontation between Ripple Labs and a group of plaintiffs led by Zakinov, the central issue at stake is whether XRP should be classified as a security. The lawsuit alleges that Ripple conducted an unregistered securities offering, a claim Ripple denies by asserting XRP's similarity to other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. As the case developed, a court order demanding that U.S. exchanges disclose users' XRP trading information raised privacy alarms. U.S. exchanges, including Kraken, find themselves in a delicate position as they balance compliance with legal requests and the protection of their clients' privacy. Welcome to Crypto World Educate. If you are coming across this channel for the first time, kindly hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to like and share the video. It's noteworthy that as we step into 2024, the cryptocurrency industry, led by pioneering companies like Ripple, stands on the cusp of a transformative era. Ripple's president, Monica Long, has shared her insights, envisioning a year where the industry moves beyond its speculative phases to establish real-world utility at scale. For years, the crypto industry has been characterized by its high-volatility speculative cycles. However, Long envisions 2024 as a year where this trend will be broken. The key, she suggests, lies in laying a strong foundation for compliance, usability, and seamless integration with existing financial systems. This approach is not just about adopting technology. It's about reshaping the crypto landscape to align with broader financial ecosystems and regulatory frameworks. The most significant breakthrough, according to Long, will be in pioneering compliance within decentralized finance, DFI. The industry's shift from being merely compliance conscious to compliance first is crucial for ensuring customer safety and regaining trust lost due to previous industry setbacks. The call for enhanced compliance in DFI marks a new frontier in blockchain innovation. As Long points out, it's insufficient for the industry to be aware of compliance issues. It must proactively build tools and protocols that embed compliance within decentralized environments. Moreover, the integration of crypto with traditional financial players such as Fidelity, BlackRock, PayPal, and Visa signals a broader acceptance and recognition of cryptocurrencies. This collaboration between crypto-native companies and established financial institutions is crucial for mainstreaming digital assets. For digital assets to achieve mainstream status, the industry must ensure that people don't need to be experts in self-custody assets or navigating decentralized exchanges. Simplifying the user experience is essential for attracting a broader user base. As we move through 2024, the crypto industry appears to be at a tipping point. With a compliance-first mindset and a focus on usability and integration, the year could indeed mark a breakout moment for institutional adoption and real-world utility in crypto. This shift towards a more compliant, user-friendly, and integrated crypto ecosystem could redefine the industry's future, making digital assets more accessible and trusted by a wider audience. Today's crypto scene is dominated by altcoins in the top 50 market cap which are continuing their bullish streak, standing in stark contrast to Bitcoin whose rally seems to be taking a breather. Traders are clearly eager to roll the dice on more adventurous investments. Despite the swings we've seen as everyone holds their breath for a solid hint of what's next in the market. Adding to the suspense is the growing speculation about the approval of a Bitcoin spot ETF by the SEC, potentially slated for early January 2024, this possibility alone has the power to significantly shift the overall mood. But unlike its altcoin peers, Ripple, XRP, is experiencing a period of stagnation, moving sideways in the market that's otherwise on the move. Its performance on the USDT paired chart shows a consolidation phase, while XRP is losing ground against BTC. Yet, there's an air of expectation around Ripple, XRP, will it break out of this pattern and surprise us all in the coming days?
The RippleSec saga continues to escalate, with Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse taking a bold stance on social media, his openly critical of SEC Chair Gary Gensler's latest comments about cryptocurrency compliance, accusing him of hypocrisy and linking him to what he calls the biggest fraud in recent memory. Brad Garlinghouse hits back hard after Gensler pointed out rampant rule-breaking in crypto, something Ripple, XRP, takes very personally. He also claims that under Gensler's watch, trust is slipping and the SEC looks like it's in Wall Street's pocket. Meanwhile, Ripple's chief legal officer, Stuart Alderity, isn't holding back either, he's been pointing out what he sees as a string of regulatory missteps by the SEC. Alderity calls attention to significant legal setbacks for the SEC like the Federal Appeals Court's decision in the Chamber of Commerce vs. SEC case where the watchdog was criticized for not amending stock buyback rules in time. This was seen as a clear deviation from expected legal standards. Furthermore, he highlights the SEC's reluctance to define syndicated loans as securities in the Kirchner vs. JP Morgan Chase case. A decision seemingly swayed by intense lobbying from big banks. Alderity points out a worrying trend at the SEC, suggesting it may not be as dedicated to impartial and reliable regulation as would hope. Alderity recently discussed what he thinks the US crypto regulation scene will look like down the line. He believes the ongoing legal scuffle between Ripple and the SEC will reach a critical point, but he remains wary of the SEC's approach of regulation by enforcement. Alderity envisions the courts, possibly even the Supreme Court, stepping in as a check against SEC overreach. However, he also anticipates a standstill in Congress, with lawmakers agreeing on the need for crypto regulation but divided over the specifics. However, he worries that disagreement in Congress could put US crypto companies at a disadvantage globally, as clear policies abroad help rivals. Currently trading between its first support at $0.5813 and first resistance at $0.6504, Ripple, XRP, is reflective of a market in careful balance. XRP is hovering close to its 10-day simple moving average, SMA, of $0.6186, suggesting a potential pivot point for short-term movements. The 200-day SMA at $0.6276 slightly above the current price, acts as a crucial marker for longer-term trends. From a bullish perspective, Ripple's, XRP, recent regulatory achievements, including obtaining a virtual asset service provider license in Ireland, a stepping stone towards expansion in Europe, could act as significant catalysts for a stronger uptrend. If XRP breaks through $0.6504, the next target would be at $0.691 and possibly at 76 cents. Such a move could be fueled by Ripple's, XRP, global licensing wins and the anticipated implementation of the MICA law next year, which might provide the necessary momentum for a bullish run. Conversely, in a bearish scenario, XRP's recent price decline of 2% and 4% over 7 and 14 days, respectively, alongside reduced trading volumes and significant leveraged positions, suggests a potential for downward pressure. If XRP breaks below $0.5813, the next support levels at $0.5528 and $0.4838 might come into play. This scenario could be exacerbated by a short squeeze, driving the price temporarily above its nearest resistance before settling back. Please note that this is not financial advice and you should do your research before making any financial decisions. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like the video. See you in the next video.